Solving and graphing linear inequalities or solving one-step linear inequalities. What is an inequality? It is a range of values rather than just one set number. It is an algebraic relation showing that a quantity is greater than or less than another quantity. For example, the speed limit, which is represented by x, should be 55 and 75 between those numbers. That means the speed limit should not go lower than 55 or greater than 75. So any values between 55 and 75 could be your speed limit. That is inequality. It's a range of values. The symbols that we use for inequality includes less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. Now, it is being read from left to right as how we normally read. So if let's say 4 is less than 8. For example, with this number line, you can have range of answers. That means the possible value of x would be all real numbers less than 2. So you represent it as x less than 2. That means since the dot is from 2 and towards your left. Another example. This would show that the solution should be all real numbers greater than negative 2. So since the arrow is towards your right side, therefore x is greater than negative 2. Another example. In the number line, you can draw x less than or equal to 1. So you locate 1 on your number line, draw a solid dot or a solid circle, and since it is less than, you draw a line towards the left side. Another example, x greater than or equal to negative 3. So you locate negative 3 on your number line in solid circle, and it will be all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 3. So you draw a line towards the right side. Now what have you noticed? Some of the dots were solid and some were open or empty. Like for example, x less than 2. It is an empty dot. While x less than or equal to 1 is a solid dot. Why do you think that is? That means if the symbol is greater than or less than, the dot will be open because it cannot be equal to that value or x could not be equal to that value, which means x less than 2 can be any value but not 2. If the symbol is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, then the dot is solid because it can be including that point 2. For example, x less than or equal to 1 means that x can be 1 or any number less than 1. Again, if it's an empty or an open dot, it's not included as one of the solutions of your inequality, while if it's a solid, that means it is included. How do we solve inequalities? When we solve linear inequality in one variable, it is much more the same with how we solve linear equation in one variable. So what we do is we isolate the variable on one side using the inverse operation. For example, x minus 3 less than 5. So what we do is we transfer negative 3 or minus 3 to the other side of the, of the inequality. So since that is negative 3, that means it will be added. So x less than 5 plus 3. Therefore, x is less than 8. Another example, x plus 6 greater than or equal to 10. 
So the first step is you transfer 6 to the other side. So since that is added here, it will be min uh, subtracted on the other side. So x greater than or equal to 10 minus 6. Therefore, x is greater than or equal to 4. So if we graph a solution or the solution of an inequality, for example, x plus 5 greater than or equal to 3, the first step is we first solve the inequality. Transfer 5 to the other side. So you have x greater than or equal to 3 minus 5. Therefore, x is greater than or equal to negative 2. The next step is to graph the solution. So you locate negative 2 and you check the inequality sign. Is it with an equal sign below it? If it is a yes, then it should be a solid dot or solid circle. Since it says x should be greater than or equal to negative 2, therefore the arrow should be towards your right. Another example. Negative 2 greater than n minus 4. The first step is we transfer negative 4 to the other side of the equation. That would be 4 minus 2 greater than n, which would be 2 greater than n. Or you can write this as n less than 2. So first step would be solve the inequality. The second step is to graph the solution. Locate 2 on the number line, and since the inequality sign does not have the equal symbol below it, therefore, it will be an empty or an open circle, and it says n less than 2, so the arrow will be towards your left. Few more examples in solving inequalities. Let's say half x greater than 3. So the same thing, since this is being divided on the left side, we will transfer 2 to the other side, it will be multiplied. So x greater than 3 times 2, therefore x will be greater than 6. Another example, 3x less than or equal to 9. So since this is multiplied on the side, on the left side, when we transfer, it will be division. So it will be x less than or equal to 9 divided by 3. Therefore, x is less than or equal to 3. Another example. If you have an inequality by a negative number, that means a number that is attached to your variable is negative, when we solve this, we have to reverse the inequality symbol. To make this positive. So you have to transfer this to the other side of the equation since this is being multiplied therefore x reverse the inequality symbol 4 divided by negative 1. Therefore x is greater than negative 4. Another example negative 2 here is being multiplied to x so when we transfer it to the other side of the inequality it will be divided. So therefore, x, do not forget to reverse the symbol of the inequality. x would be greater than or equal to 6 divided by negative 2. Therefore, x is greater than or equal to negative 3. I hope you have learned something new today and I hope that you have learned as well from our Maths Easy episode today about linear inequalities. And for those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as Teacher Maria would say, live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day, and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Maths Easy series. Bye! Yeah.